Hi, this, this is your girl Leanne, aka Lola, laugh off and love always. I'm your goddess guide to deep inner wisdom and deep soul transformation. That's the Buddha and the butterfly. That's the Anwa and the beauty, and that is the Holy Spirit and the magic. Welcome to this tower reading for Aquarius, the six six portal for June 6, 2023. This is for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising. And we're doing just a basic Celtic cross for Aquarius. We're going to do a reading and a read. So I'm shuffling the cards. And I want to actually stop the card shuffle because I heard stop. And I'll pull the reading out for Aquarius. See what we have for you today, Aquarius. All right. I experience abiding peace. Peace must, must exist at the center of everything or the universe itself would be chaos. You already know this and believe it. Now you are going to act upon it. You are not only going to believe in it, you are going to act as though it were true because it is true. There is peace at the center of your being, a peace that can be felt throughout the day and in the cool of the evening when the first star shines in the soft light of the sky. It spread its comforting glow all glow over all that exists. Say, in this peace that holds me so gently, I find strength and protection from all fear or anxiety. It is the peace of God in which I feel the love of holy presence. I am so conscious of this love, this protection, that every sense of fear slips away from me as mist fades, as mist fades in the morning light. I see good in everything. God personified in all people, life manifested every event. Spirit is not separate from persons or event. I see that in its I see that it unites everything with in it, with itself, vitalizing all with the energy of its own being, creating everything that is its own divine imagination, surrounding everything with peace and the quiet and calm. I am one with the deep abiding peace. I know that all is well. And so it is. So that was the reading for Aquarius for your 66 portal reading from 365 Signs of the Mind, a year of daily wisdom from Ernest Holmes. Let's get this reading started. We're doing just a basic Celtic cross, starting out with the Wheel of Fortune crossed by the moon. Of course, the moon comes out for you. Seven of Wands is in the conscious. Um, why are you fighting, Aquarius? Seven of Wands is in the conscious mind, in the subconscious mind. Oh, why do you think you're being held captive? Why do you think that you you're being held? Eight of Swords, in the past, Hermit. Time to come out of the dark. You already did that. Page of Swords, giving you some good news. It's spreading some news. Page of Swords, spreading some good news. Five of Pentacles, outside sources, Knight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and the final card, Outcome, that's card. So we're getting a rebirth for you at the end. So we have the Wheel of Fortune crossed by the moon. So you took your shot, the basis of the situation, you took your shot, you spun the wheel, and you made the choice. You took the chance. You my cards are sliding. You decided that you were going to make that do what you needed to do. Wheel of Fortune. Every time I see this see this card come out, I hear that song, that Wheel of Fortune. And then I hear the clapping. You know, that's like the, the thing for me that I hear. It's like, okay, so the Wheel of Fortune is like life cycles, awakening, new beginnings. It's a turning point. You, you made a chance. You took the chance. The point has now turned. It's crossed by the moon, which is a release of illusion. The moon represents illusions. It's time to release any illusions or lies that you're telling yourself. You took the chance, you spun the wheel, so release the lies that you're telling yourself about the outcome of what is happening in your everyday situation, okay? <laughs> in the conscious position, you have seven of wands, so you're fighting, you're fighting, okay? Seven of wands. This is, a, this is like you're, you know, you're taking a stand, you're battling, um, you're tr you're literally trying to control the outcome of how people are acting towards you. You're trying to control outside influences, and you can't control them. You can only control the internal ones. And funny enough, you have eight of swords in the subconscious mind, eight of swords in the subconscious. And this is all about her thinking that she's being held, but all she has to do is step through the swords, and she's perfectly fine. Take off the ba the bandana take off the things this, this is nothing these are just small little loosely wrapped um 
a ties are bind that are binding her, and this is what's going on in your your subconscious mind. You actually think you're being held captive, but you're not, because in the conscious mind, you're too busy fighting outside sources that aren't fighting you. And it's funny because in the past, you actually did the time, took the work, you did the work to actually find yourself, to go into your own light, to go into your own energy, to really find what it is you needed. And then you're moving forward to your first card of the future, page of wands. You're getting this. This is about education. Is it about education? Yeah. It's about learning, okay? It's about news of learning, but it's about learning your internal struggles, okay? Because the sword is like your mind, okay? So this is about learning your internal struggles. This is about not listening to the internal battles because the internal battles make you fight people that, have no, that you have no business fighting for no reason at all. So, moving on to the Five of Pentacles. Very interesting. Um, you can choose to either be out in the cold or you can choose to be in the light. First card of the future. So, this is like your first card of the future. You have to make a choice. Stop fighting and stop believing the story in your head. First card of the future. Choose the light or choose the dark. The choice is yours. Outside influences, pentacle stops. Full stop on the pentacles. Now, outside influence for you in this reading could mean that because you're doing what you're doing, you're fighting people, you're not, your mind is not acting right, this could actually stop your money from flowing. Outside influence, this would definitely mean to me in this reading that your money could stop, could actually dry up. What it is that you're doing to make money could stop or your money could dry up outside influence. So I would definitely be very conscious of how I'm talking to myself, especially with this in the subconscious. I would make sure that I'm really paying attention because it could actually um, affect my future in a negative way for you, um, Aquarius. I want you to be really, really, really mindful of that. Um, and just to be gentle with yourself when you are being mindful of that because you're fighting for, with people for no apparent reason. You're trying to control a situation that doesn't need controlling. You want people to do a certain thing and it doesn't work like that. This is a mind thing. You believe that that is the truth, but it's not. You believe the story that you're telling, but it's not true. Okay. Two of Pentacles comes up as uh, best case, worst case. Best outcome, worst outcome. Two of Pentacles is like juggling money in life, adapt, uh, adapt uh, being able to adapt quickly. And I want you to make this the best case thing for you, a best outcome for you. I want you to be able to adapt yourself quickly so that, you know, that outside source of you losing your money or losing what makes you money, you don't, that you can adapt quickly. You want to make sure that you're taking that good news that has come in from the page of swords and you're actually taking the learning, taking the, the ability to move forward, to actually adjust yourself, releasing the idea and the story, and you're moving out of the illusion and you really sitting on that wheel of fortune, like you're really sitting on the fact that you have something special to share and to give. Um, final outcome is the death card. This just lets me know that you are facing a rebirth. So at the end of this whole path or where you're at, going to or where you're moving towards is you coming into a brand new self, a brand new realization and a brand new you, Aquarius. And I, I feel like this is a really wonderful read for Aquarius. Um, and I know some Aquariuses and I love them very dearly and I know they might need to hear this message. So um, this, this message is for you, Aquarius. Please make sure to understand during this portal energy that there's a lot going on, a lot of energy, a lot of things, a lot of um, mind things. The 6-6 six, six energy is completely mind. Remember, um, Gemini is all about communication, all about internal, external, air communication, all types of communication. So we want to make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Let's pull an angel card number for you. There it is. Popped right out. 99. Mm. I got 99 problems, but an issue ain't one. Hit me. Okay, so I am courageous is your um, mantra for this week. Uh, for this 6-6 six, six to 6-15, six, it is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash the true power. Unleash the power within. It is your life. It is your power. It is time for you to unleash it and to really live 100% authentically in the power that is yours. Stop falling for the crap. Let's pull that uh, one life so or soul, soul healer journey, the soul journey card. And what came out is pride. I love myself and I see myself in others. I want to tell you too, also Aquarius, don't be too prideful. Don't be overly prideful. Don't do it. But have pride in what it is that you are creating and what you are doing. Have pride in the truth of who you are. Have pride in that. But don't be boastful or prideful. Okay? Okay. 
Got 99 problems, but an issue ain't one hit me. Remember, it's time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. You, I am courageous. Courageous is your word for this week. And don't be too prideful, but have pride in what you're doing, but don't be too prideful because you don't want to alter the balance. You want to make sure that you're doing it. So thank you so much for joining me, Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising for the 6-6 six, six portal energy. Um, make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising for the full picture of what's going on from 6-6 six, six to 6-15. Thank you for joining me. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share me with a friend because I'm super shareable. And you know I am because this energy is juicy as AF. Uh, and thank you for joining me. Bye.